this is uh, what we're gonna be working on right now. It's a uh, 2009 Chevrolet Cobalt LAP 2.2, and uh, we're gonna be adding a, one of uh, ZZP's supercharger kits onto it. So for now, this is how it's gonna. Um, this is how it looks for now. Of course, regular 2.2 LAP. We got a Canon, um, I guess, intake on it, and uh, we're gonna go start from there by removing the intake, the intake manifold, clear out some of that area, and uh, start adding up the, the brackets for the tensioner, for the supercharger, and uh, the LSJ intake manifold. For the most part, that's the injectors and the intake removed. All of it has been composed of 10 millimeters. The injectors have had two 10 millimeter bolts along with the fuel line removed, 3 8 um, fuel adapter to remove it, and of course the intake. The throttle body was also removed by the four 10 millimeter bolts that go there and to remove the antique manifold you're going to need to remove seven 10 millimeter bolts that are holding it down as well and don't forget to detach this hose that goes connected to the brake booster as well or else i mean of course you're not going to take that off also down there the knock sensor connectors are uh, attached to the antique manifold so once you're able to lift it or you can wedge your hands around there uh, unplug it before you try to remove the antique manifold and if you can get to it also um down here, you'll probably see there's a let's see, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there, holding down the the AC line as well as the dipstick. Um, you'll have to remove those so you can be able to move them forward and pull the manifold off. We're on a different day, just doing the same thing, uh, but continuing the transformation here on a 2.2 LAP but I have gone ahead and removed the antique manifold as well as uh, put the spacers for the alternator and the lower idler spacer pulley that's needed for the supercharger kit I as well as cleaned up the the antique manifold mounting for the head because it was a bit dirty so we want to make sure when you're mounting a new gasket and a new manifold or if you're just cleaning out chopping out your gasket always make sure the mounting is clean because if not you're not going to make a complete seal and uh, you're going to have dirt debris trapped in between but so what i did is i already added the spacer so what i'm going to do now is this power cord that goes from the alternator i'm going to reattach it to the starter and then tighten that 13 millimeter bolt or nut that you see there before i start mounting the intake manifold on one thing I did forget to mention is when you're putting the new bolts that ZZP sends you for the alternator and the spacers, you can tighten all four bolts for the alternator and the, and the bracket at 15 foot pounds of torque. Now that the alternator and the spacers have been installed as well as this, uh, the power cord from the alternator to the starter have been tightened, I'm going to go ahead and add the new supercharged upper radiator hose and uh, go ahead and get the gasket on and mount, a, mount the LSJ intake manifold on. Okay, so I already did a couple of things. I mounted the LSJ intake manifold and I already put on the gasket for it. Uh, about to mount a supercharger on it. But I also put the LSJ uh, top mount, radi I mean top radiator hose. And from the kit that ZZP sends you, this breather filter that you're going to put here on the PCV system for the 2.2s or the 2.4. Um, also, what I did for the 2.2s, when you have to put the map sensor on top of here on the manifold, uh, when you're installing it, you can't really see it, but when you're installing it, the the mounting hole or the tight down bolt, which is that one, is a little bit offset from this hole here. So what I did in order for it to work properly without having to damage anything is the row pin that's inside the sensor, the map sensor, I uh, punched it out with a center punch and uh, when you're about to mount it you're like barely right on par with it so it'll work just fine and of course this being the rope pin that, you, that I removed from it I just used the punch and uh, the rubber mallet and it came out smoothly and now I'm able to secure the sensor down without having to modify um, the hole for it or without having to have this a little bit twisted or crooked I also went ahead you can't really tell but I also went ahead and swapped out the injectors to 60 pound injectors that came with the kit so now basically it's just ready to install this put the supercharger on top 
and uh, start riding the rest. The supercharger, you will not need this map sensor that's on top of it. It's irrelevant for the 2.2 and the 2.4. Also, I went ahead and mounted the stage three heat exchanger from ZZP. So it's nice mounted. Uh, there's four mounting points. If you can see here, that's one of them here on top, two here, and there's rear brackets that mount to the crash bars in the rear. There's the other one, and there's the other one. Also, might as well to round it up. I went ahead and started routing the plumbing system for the heat exchanger. Um, of course, these will go straight to the inlet of the of the intercooler what is it intercooler pump yeah into heat exchanger pump and this one's going straight to the manifold to the top of the manifold and uh, this one here the outlet of it it's going to go right to the bottom section of the intake manifold i went ahead and got grounding from there from the boat to this i went ahead and used the ground for that so now I just need to hook up the power to it once you flip the key and uh, the intercooler pump should be good to go. But pretty much this is how the intercooler is routed or I mean the heat exchanger. The top one on the heat exchanger is going to go routed here to the top one on the intercooler, I mean on the intake manifold. And the bottom one of the intake manifold for the dual pass end plate will go routed to this outlet on the intercooler pump. So anyways, if y'all have any questions about it or how to route it, just uh, message me or or uh, chime down in the comments. Uh, I'll gladly help you out. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and set up the supercharger. Oh, talking about the supercharger. Went ahead and uh, I put on, I uh, put on their ZZP 3.1 belt already i mean the belt i'm sorry the pulley because it is a, a five rib belt for the 2.2s and 2.4s so went ahead and swapped out the pulley with the new hub and pulley that they supply on the kit so what i'm going to take care of right now is i'm going to tighten down with a 10 millimeter bolt this uh, map sensor then i'm going to install the supercharger on top and tighten it down with these uh hex bolts that these piece supplies for you to install and uh That'll be secured and the supercharger will be on and it'll look more like a complete um, complete engine. Okay, whatever you do, don't do this. Don't pull me. I got ahead of myself and now I'm going to have to remove the injectors to be able to bolt down the bolts of the supercharger. That one and that one. To bolt them down, I have to remove the fuel rail or the fuel with the, to get with the injectors. So, when you're installing the supercharger onto it, um, put the supercharger on and then put the injectors. I did it backwards and now I'm kicking myself in the butt for it. But, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the injectors so I can be able to, to uh, tighten down and torque down those two top supercharger bolts. And then uh, also tighten down and torque down the two bottom supercharger bolts. But that's pretty much how it's gonna look right there. Okay, I already got the supercharger placed down. Of course, I had to remove the injectors. Now I'm gonna tighten down in a sequence with a six millimeter hex nut going into one, two, three, four. Tighten it down to 18 foot pounds of torque each one. Now I understand the extension removes some of the torque applied to it. So I'm gonna go a little more. I should give it a little bit more than 18 foot pounds due to this extension, just kind of making up. So we'll take care of that. You know, again, I'm gonna use. Wow. Get a little more. Okay, now I got this one torqued down. I'm gonna torque, take care of torquing this one down. Also, this is number two. Get a little more. Then I'm gonna take care of this top one. Going in for number three. Give a little more. And last but not least, this bottom one, the fourth one. And torque it down also. And give a little more. And there we go. That's all four torque down. 
at 18 foot pounds of torque each one more or less now we got the supercharger set up let's go ahead and install the ls straight throttle body onto the engine and uh now what you i'm sorry what you might want to do before you install now what you might want to do before you install the throttle body if you got the kit from ZZP, it is going to come with the plug and play uh, kit for the, or plug and play harness, I'm sorry, for the throttle body. So since it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it, you might as well just hook it up right now. And uh, that way once you bolt it on, you just hook this up to your original throttle body harness. And, I mean throttle body connector on the harness and uh, you'll be set. Because this is kind of going to get buried down there. So it's gonna make it a little difficult for you to get to it. So might as well put it on right now and bolt it up and then go from there. So that's the way it'll be once you secure the throttle body on with the four 10 millimeter bolts that are, that are on it. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, hook up the vacuum lines that go here and here, the brake booster line, the vacuum line, and uh, put on the serpentine belt and all I'm gonna need is just to install the intake, finish putting the the wind harnesses to the rest of the sensors, and put, of course, like I mentioned, hook up the intercooler pump to power. But it's going, guys. We're coming along great. Because of daylight that I'm running out, that about is gonna conclude what I'm gonna do to the car um for now for this video uh next video would be of course on the remaining things to do 